Hi, the reason I bought the probe um, and path pilot was specifically for this type of job where I've got an old tool, an old press tool that's probably been made a long time ago, perhaps even before the days of digital readout and the holes and positions are probably slightly out, made via the center punch and drill and the drill press type situation. So I want to know the uh, hole centers there relative to the punch and so I can depict it on a drawing showing the XY coordinates. That looks like a bad light. Um, then I can come to Path Pilot and find a pocket center. So um, if you persevere with me on this you'll see the point of what I'm coming to is that you can use work offsets to your advantage here. It doesn't have the facility to find the uh, part center uh, on the XYZ sorry, on the rectangular circular probe um, relative to other positions only relative to the work offset which at the moment is the standard G54 if you like you're in digital readout that would be the absolute system so if we probe to find the middle of that in G52 uh, G54 standard work offset find center So just quickly probes around at fairly high speed. You can change that speed if you want to, but I won't go into that now. Um, now it's, it's found it roughly, now it's rapiding to the center positions and doing a slow. Position finding. And so now it has set the X and Y DROs on zero zero relative to that punch. Now if I want to find where those other hole centers are, I can jog over two one roughly jog to the middle which is about there. Now if I just find the center again using this this other facility, or the same facility, find the center of a, a rectangle or a bore. Uh, I'm going to lose my uh, useful information. Um, so what I do is go to main and enter a different work offset, say G55, enter. It's now showing in the status as G55. And I can now go to probe and ask it to find the center. Now it's found a center and set it as zero as a work origin for G55. Here you can see it's zero zero because it's in the middle of a bore. Um, but I want to know what it is relative to the punch. I'm going to move this to a better place for a bit of light. Uh, that's better. To the middle of the punch. And I want to know what that X and Y coordinate is of that bore. So all I need to do now is go back to my original work offset. Go to main. Go G54. It would help if I clicked on the space. G54, enter, and now the DROs are telling me the X and Y coordinates of the center of that hole, 56.78 minus, rather, minus 28.41, and I can write that on the drawing and quickly establish all of the uh, position centers. So uh, that's quite a convenient way to do it.